Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Go, drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. Fandango to the dollar says, FYI, Destiny is clarified. The wrestling guys asking questions wasn't going to be on your interview. He was doing another show, a podcast, and I'd be the first to attend. It doesn't matter. Do you understand? It doesn't matter. Do you understand what he's saying? Wow, I was going to do a big setup for Phil where I was going to surprise him with this messed up stuff to make fun of him. Uh, who cares? You're an idiot. You've just shown that you're a disingenuous person. Oh, Phil's interested in being covered in a serious way in an interview because he needs to clear the air about him. Oh, I want to set up a podcast where I have a bunch of pro wrestlers ask Phil insulting questions. Oh, that's really what we should be thinking about right now, right? How about no? How about you're a jackass? And I'm not going to interview with you because you're a jackass. <laughs> Just like you proved how many years ago my first interaction with you. I'm streaming on Twitch, right? And I'm playing a video game and you, and you raid my stream to talk about buying a car. Had nothing to do with what I was doing on stream or anything. Like, what? Like, there's some people out there who they, they like... They, how do you not understand your content is jackass content? Like... Right? Like, what are you talking... This is what they put out on the internet. It's just amazing. The, the, the funny, funniest part about it was... When he, when he said... And again, I think that this is misconstrued because someone was talking to him and saying that Phil didn't want to come on your, your, your interview with you because he doesn't like your interview style. And he said, well, if I'm going to give you exposure, if I'm going to give you a venue or exposure, an opportunity to get views on the internet because you're on my show then you have to settle into my style. You have to accept how I do things. I actually completely, 100% agree with that statement, which is why I actually decided I didn't want to interview him because I just didn't like his interview style, and I wasn't going to ask him to change his style for me. I thought that would be so incredibly over-the-top full of myself. to say, Wow, I'm so over-important. I want an interviewer to change the way they interview just for me. That sounds pretty greedy and, and, and egotistical, doesn't it? At the same time, the very funny part was when he says, if I'm going to give you an opportunity to like have a big audience, Destiny does not have a giant audience. <laughs> he doesn't. He thinks he's big shit. He's not some big guy. All right? He has this, this audience, this isolated audience that very much likes him. But he's not some ginormous guy. He thinks he is, I guess. Like, he's no giant podcaster. He doesn't have millions upon millions of views. But I guess he, he has a very vocal audience that makes him think that he's bigger than he is, you know, and more power to him. He's much bigger than me. Let him enjoy his audience or whatever. But the way that he answered that question was like, oh, well, if I'm going to give Phil an opportunity, he should be so grateful for this giant audience. Like literally no one in Destiny's audience is anyone who I care about or would want to appeal to to watch my content. The shit he puts out there one day, just uh, just give you a win again. You could like his content. That's fine. It's just not for me. One day. On a whim, I clicked on a Destiny stream. All right, he was live streaming. I said, I just want to see what it is. I clicked on it, okay? And it's him with a bunch of people doing virtual date interviewing or something. It was the most shitty piece of garbage I've ever seen on the internet. And that's fine. I'm sure that's one piece of content he puts out. But I'm watch I watched it for five minutes. Five minutes. And I was like, I would never go back to this guy's channel. This is worse than the lowest of the low, bottom of the barrel reality TV schlock. And that's what the kind of content he puts out. And I was like, no wonder when he wanted to come on my stream to talk about it's a buyer's market for cars, ha ha ha, or whatever it was. He thought that this was like the biggest thing and everyone would be interested, maybe for his audience, right? You know what I'm saying? But for me and my audience, why on earth would I ever want to be on his content? That's the that's the intellectual level of the shit that he puts out. That's the people who watch his shit. That's what they're watching. Like, wow. No. People who watch my content are not going to want to care about that. I, I would recruit zero viewers being interviewed by that man. You understand? And again, there's a market for that. That's fine. Anyone who watches it, enjoy. It's not for me. It's not for my audience. Why would I want to interview with someone whose interview style doesn't match the style that I would like? And I don't think I'm going to gain anything to be interviewed by that guy. Right? Right? 
Oh, by the way, now this is just a joke. LTG got interviewed by Destiny, and he's permanently banned from YouTube, so we see where that kind of stuff goes, don't we? <laughs> that was a joke. I don't think that that was a direct result. That's bullshit. I'm just, I had to say it, because I've been thinking about that as a joke in the back of my head for a while. Okay. I got the drip going. 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 It's like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I, I'm gonna have to clear. Like, this is what I mean, these, these dumb kids. This is what it is, it's dumb kids. 